Sunday pancake breakfast. Welcome to another segment of What's on My Shelf. Okay. Sony Cyber Shots, really good cameras. They tend to be hardy, uh, not break. I haven't had one that's broken. I've had Olympuses and other ones that have broken. This one was, um, I think this is like seven megapixel. Not too good anymore. And then this one, uh, which was my last one, which is even better. And I mentioned that 60 megapixel, even better. Um, smaller, you know, I like it. And then this one I use, this is the, um, the Handycam uh, mounted in the car. That way you get full HD, flips open, flips around. Pretty cool. So those are all really good cameras. Um, got Sony's um, big lens. Got a dog. Scratching at my crotch. Then I have the the A60 A65 Sony, which is pretty cool. It has a macro lens, so it's really you can get really tight for things. And then the A77, which you're, you're looking at. But the whole the all of this leads up to this my favorite lens. This is a Canon lens. Um, I know I've been talking about Sony so much, but this is uh, made by Canon. And what I like especially about this is that it does something it does something that that no other lens does that i've i've ever seen it's actually very cool take the thing off it actually holds candy yeah see day after july 4th we survived we have Pepperdine students that live next door, and they had a party yesterday with what, at least like 50 people. I'm asking you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All standing on the roof. All standing on the roof. Um, and it was it got pretty crazy, but once the fireworks went off, it sounds like everybody went home and said, forget this, I'm, I'm tired and I don't want to hit all that traffic. So, pretty successful Independence Day. Uh, we are now driving through Canaan, going out to Woodland Hills. Kathy needs a new dress, right? Thousand Oaks. What did I say? Woodland Hills. Never mind, Thousand Oaks. And then uh, we're gonna hit the gym while we're out here, do some swimming, but uh, uh, and a few other things. Uh, it's a really nice day today. Kathy needs some earplugs for the pool. What? What did you say? What? Huh? Oh, you got the feeling that I want to feel. Oh. I just spent the last, what do you think, about 45 minutes looking for this place? I hope not. For Kathy's dress place, which is Express. I don't think I want to dress anymore. <laughs> it's like we don't even know where we are. Fireball tip. Fireball tip. Yeah. Awesome. Nice to meet you, fireball tip. And, and, and this looks good, right? It looks really good. Okay. All right. Kathy's holding more, so. Okay. I guess I guess I'm getting this too. Just not together. All right. So now we completely bailed on that whole idea of swimming. Forget swimming. We want to eat. We're gonna we're gonna find something to eat somewhere. Except, except I was thinking next week I can't eat at all if I'm gonna wear that dress. <laughs> So now Kathy is 
in Victoria's Secret returning something, changing something, it's going to be sexy no matter what it is. went to Stacked, which is a restaurant I never even heard of before. Nope. And well, we've we, never been to this mall before. That's true. We've never <laughs> even been here, so we had no idea this mall even existed. But this restaurant, there's only four locations, I think. Uh, and they're, it's a phenomenal burger. Even though we had veggie burgers, you design them yourself. And you put everything on yourself. Um, and it was, it was insane. It was delicious. It was really, really good. Uh, so now we're going to head back to Malibu and we're going to go look at some houses just because we feel like it. talk to you guys for a minute about something that is very important to me, very important to Kathy, and uh, we had a really interesting day today. It was pretty fun, um, primarily because we didn't do anything that we expected to do. It was something that uh, we set out to, to go out and go swimming and do a variety of stuff, but uh, that changed radically when we found ourselves in a place we had never been. Um, it was pretty, pretty fun, pretty cool, kind of like your you know, traveling. But uh, in the last couple of days, a couple of things have come up, and uh, through observation, it's interesting to, it creates an interesting perspective. And that is simply that when, you, when you're when you a kid and you grow up, you, you learn through living in society that you have to get things. Uh, in order to be successful, uh, uh, whatever you have, it kind of determines that you are successful. And, and it's all about getting. And the thing about getting is that you you get lost in that that circle of well I have to get this thing in order to be uh, perceived a certain way or not to be judged or to you know any number of things but it's it's all about getting and you realize at a certain point in your life where um, life is not about getting it's about giving and what you give uh, comes back to you in a lot of uniquely different ways. Now, we went downtown the other day and Kathy lost her sunglasses when we were looking in one of the fabric shops. And we walked in and a guy walked up to us immediately who was working at the shop and he said, can I help you? And he was very kind of aggressive about it, but he wanted to help us. And I said, well, my wife lost her sunglasses. Uh, and the moment he knew that we weren't gonna buy anything, he turned around and just walked away and uh, didn't want to help us. So his intention wasn't to to give, his intention was to get, uh, to separate us from our money in some way by selling us things that we didn't need or or stuff that we weren't there for. But, but the funny part is it turns out that Kathy's glasses were in her back pocket the whole time. So um, it's not like I walk around looking at her butt, but well, you know, that's not a bad thing either. Uh, and then the other thing is that, you know, we went out today and we went to Express, a store out there. We met this young guy named Chris and um, sure, he's a salesman at Express, but he, he went out of his way to help us and to make sure that the things we bought looked good. And he was really kind and really helpful. Um, and his intention, it was clear that he was giving. And because he was willing to give, uh, we want to give back. And so um, we're going to go online and give him some, some kudos uh, at, at the Express uh, website and, and let the the employers know that, that he did a great job. And that's the thing, is that the more that you give, the more that comes back to you. So if you can reverse your perspective and look at the world in a way that it's about giving, uh, not going out to get things, but to give the best of who you are and what you do, then better things come back to you that way. And uh, I believe that firmly, and I, and I know that Kathy does. And that's something that, that you gotta work at every day. So for uh, this July 5th now, 
and uh, for this coming week, Monday starting uh, next week, think about that. Think about how can you give the best of yourself, not writing someone a check, in some cases that may be the truth, but about giving who you are the best of what you can do. Go to your job and just be your best and not worry about getting. And I think you'll be surprised by the end of the week, the things that will come to you. Have a great week.